Good afternoon and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 4. I'm Tram Mai. The border crisis continues. Right now, there is no date in sight for the reopening of the Lukeville Port of Entry after closing more than a week ago. A spokesperson for U.S. Customs and Border Protection tells 12 News that they're working on a day-to-day -day basis to determine the need for assistance as the Lukeville agents help move migrants away from the border. Without the help, a border agent we spoke to says migrants would be waiting much longer. It's a serious challenge for us, and these callous smugglers, like I said before, are just leading these people out to some of the roughest terrain in our, um, on our southern border. And sometimes these people have to walk for miles before they can even come in contact with us. Meanwhile, the closure at the Lukeville port of entry is making a significant impact on both sides of the Arizona-Mexico border. Some business owners telling 12 News journalist Gabrielle Becerra tourist destinations like Rocky Point haven't been this quiet since the COVID-19 pandemic. Gabby is joining me now for the backstory on this. Gabby, how are businesses surviving? I mean, that's quite a second hit for them. It's so true. I spoke to several businesses. One um, is a massage company. They've had 50 cancellations just in this month alone. He also has a tourist company. He said they've had seven cancellations for that. So several businesses are really struggling um, with the closure. But they tell me that what they're doing is just really trying to encourage people to make the trip through the alternate routes. So they're telling people there's the San Luis and the Nogales ports of entries. They want people to take those routes instead. And one business owner tells me that he's even meeting people at the border who are uncomfortable taking those routes that they may have never taken before. So they're meeting them at the border. They have a police escort. They're caravanning. They're doing anything they can to make people feel comfortable. And safe. Yeah, taking the drive. Because yeah. we've also learned that there's plot potholes along the, the drive. They're also filling those. Several of the businesses are raising money to fill those potholes and make the drive even that more comfortable for people taking the trip. Which, of course, you know, when you're trying to go out of your way to make these tourists more comfortable and filling the potholes on your own budget, that's quite another hit. Okay, here's the deal, though. A lot of people, they like to go there, obviously, as a visitor. Mm -hmm. Some people, a lot of Arizonans, they own property there. So what are they to do? Well, I spoke to um, some people who do own property there, and they're canceling their trips. Um, some people I spoke to were planning to go for Christmas, but they've decided that they didn't want to take the alternative routes that take a couple extra hours, so they're either canceling. Although I did talk to some people who are still going, they're taking the drive, um, they're taking the risk, they're doing their research to make sure that it's something they're comfortable with. Um, but really, that's the only option right now is to either take the alternative route or wait until the Lukeville border opens. Which is who knows when. Exactly. Yeah, okay, I know you're going to have more at 6 o'clock. Thank you so much. Thanks.